Well, aloha, good morning, afternoon, and evening. This is Master Paul. I'm very happy to be joining you today. It is the 24th of July, 2017. We are very rapidly moving through this very hot month here in Hawaii. And I'm coming you to, to you today through my desktop. Um, so happy to serve you. Today, we will be focusing on the first day of the series. So in this next four days, I will offer a series on gratitude. So for those that are just scrolling through, wondering if this will be worth their time, yes. <laughs> the answer is absolutely yes. Because if you are not walking through life in gratitude for everything, including the unpleasant things, then you can learn from this wisdom and teachings. I have been a certified master teacher for a few years now and have been on this spiritual journey, this dedicated spiritual journey for over nine years, training with a very high level master. And so a great deal of the wisdom and teachings that I share is not only practical and functional, but also makes a substantial difference in your life. So I encourage you to stick around. If you do have to run away and go someplace else, but you sound interested, please hit the subscribe button above and you'll know when I go live. And then also uh, you can come back to my Facebook page and watch the recording. So we've got a lot of folks joining us so far today. It's been a very full weekend. I can say it's been a full weekend, a very exciting weekend. Uh, we were notified that um, we have some very special guests coming to Hawaii, including our spiritual mother. Her name is Master Maya. And she is uh, termed the, the leader of the uh, mission to, to serve humanity, to bring love, peace, and harmony to humanity. And she is by far one of the most extraordinary uh, beings I have ever met, a very generous, uh, heartfelt, compassionate being that simply wants to save the world, basically. Uh, and she'll be visiting us uh, in September. So I'm very much looking forward to that. That was revealed this weekend. So I encourage you all to make a, a note on your calendars. And then also this coming weekend here in Honolulu, there we're doing a very special release of what's called the Dao Chong and it is a um, it is a very special uh, Dao source field uh, one that is only on nine places in the planet and Hawaii is blessed to be one of those nine places on the planet so uh, definitely learn more about the Dao source field so we're gonna stop and acknowledge all those that are checking in at this time <clears throat> so welcome to uh, I cannot read the first person. It's grayed out. Uh, it looks like Lynette, uh, Yvette, excuse me. Very hard to see the way Facebook does this. Aloha, Brianna. Welcome, Kristen Strachan. Welcome also, Elizabeth. Aloha to Robin Toth and Janice Crosby. Welcome also to Raul. Haven't seen you in a while, Raul. Good to see you. Welcome, Suki. Welcome, Kathleen Monahan. And welcome also to Linda Jansen. Aloha, Nina. And welcome also to Linda Avinda. Um, so if you have not already, please hit the share button. Let other people know about this. If you have friends you want to share with, let them know as well. The reason I chose this subject matter today, and I'll go into it a little bit more, is that I myself find that I am, it's, a, it's not a strong point. I need to be substantially more grateful for all the different areas of my life. And uh, I said, well, if it's something that I need to learn, it's most likely that others need the, the wisdom as well. And so we will work together to clear our Shen Qi Jing blockages to remove the what keeps us from being in a place of gratitude. There is a veil, if you will, that is held over our collective eyes uh, related to you know, our creator and all of those beautiful things that we have in our life. We tend to place our focus in the wrong places. We meaning I as well. And so today we're going to focus on variations of that. Now, uh, when I just tuned in this morning to what and how I will be offering this these next four days of this series on gratitude, I, um, I wanted to get a feel for what I would work with with each day. So I want to tell you that you know what to look forward to. So today, 
we'll be working with gratitude for our beloved creator and all the beings uh, the unseen beings of light that are serving us tomorrow uh, I will be focusing on gratitude for all of the life support system on Mother Earth that supports us including Mother Earth herself and all of the life here that supports us uh, on Wednesday <clears throat> I'll be focusing gratitude for our family members and our relationships and on Thursday I'll be focusing on gratitude for ourself okay so that's what you can look forward to for each of these four days I believe that by being focused on each of these we'll be able to get a lot of value a lot of benefit I'm hoping for over the course of these four days and so as we always do let us uh, go ahead and connect heart to heart and soul to soul and let us chant the source soul song of love peace and harmony to serve others for uh, those that really appreciate forgiveness um, I did just post something on my timeline about an event coming up next weekend I think two weekends from now on a Sunday here in Hawaii so if you happen to know anybody that lives in Hawaii if you wouldn't mind uh, sharing that post that's on my timeline with them they can attend that event and it's a forgiveness based event you know there's not enough of it in the world we definitely need to serve more people so let us do this let us place our hands in soul light soul service hand position we're dropping the left hand in front of our heart center the right hand remains pointed towards heaven <clears throat> close our eyes bring our thoughts our mind our breath into our lower abdomen fully connect to our beloved Creator today we will be focusing on gratitude to our Creator and all of those serving the plan of the soul and the soul world so let us connect to them fully and completely I will call them forth at this time dear our beloved Creator what by whatever name you go by in any belief system worldwide the divine the Tao the source and more all of the committees and all of the layers of the divine the Tao the source that support the plan of our beloved Creator dear the soul of our individual heavens teams guides angels and Saints all of those from all of our heavens teams from all lifetimes dear the soul of all angels healing angels archangels lamas gurus sifu saints kahunas all buddhas all bodhisattvas the soul of love jesus and mother mary we love you all honor you all deeply appreciate you all most humbly and most sincerely ask you to please join us today we ask you to please come sit in our heart center in our message center bless us to more fully awaken to your presence bless us to recognize your presence in our life in the many many beautiful ways that you show your face bless us to trust that you are with us bless each and every one of us to further develop our gratitude for your beauty your life saving your guidance your wisdom and so much more please bless each and every one of us to release our Shen Qi and Jing blockages that inhibit us from fully aligning our heart and soul to our beloved creators heart and soul that we can be a vessel of light for others to find their path home as well we are very very humbled and grateful dear the source soul song of love peace and harmony transmitted to all souls in all universes we love you we honor you respect you we ask you to please turn on we ask that as we chant love peace and harmony that you please radiate your highest frequencies to all of those watching all of those listening past present future 
to all souls in all universes to awaken all souls to love, peace, and harmony, to clear the blockages that we can return to oneness. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So for all those that have just tuned in or are new, this is a blessing. This is a mantra to serve humanity. You may join in or request a blessing to heaven. Let us chant to serve. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, li. Lula. Oh,我爱我心儿灵，我爱转弯嘞，红影如海儿暮雪上，相爱平安的心，相爱平安的心。I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace. And harmony. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The Source Soul Song of Love, Peace, and Harmony for everybody that is new <coughs> is a mantra. It has been serving humanity for over 15 years. It's been translated to 43 plus languages. And it's currently being sung all over the world in every continent. Uh, to serve humanity, the ideal time is 12 noon every day. So I encourage you to click on the links that Kristen, Strzok, uh, Kristen Rojas has posted uh, and learn more about it. You can download the music for free. You can download the PDFs for your preferred language. And the request is simply to chant at noon, your time, once a day, at least five minutes. Of course, longer is better. Gather a group. Do it with three people. Three people can cut gold is an ancient saying. So... Learn more. Happy to serve. So welcome also to Nicole Talish Curtis. Aloha. Welcome Becky Lafave. Welcome Suki Singh. Aloha Kristen Strachan. Welcome Rowita. Aloha Johnny. Aloha Julia. Aloha to uh, Carla. Welcome also to Angela Diacomo. And welcome Elizabeth Hall. So I'm guessing that the reason you're all here is because you're in agreement that gratitude is a very important thing to have in our life, <clears throat> and typically we don't have enough of it. So I hope that you're able to uh, stay and enjoy this live stream. Again, for those that are new or not able to stay, if you hit the subscribe button on my page, you'll be notified when I go live. Also, uh, like if you like me, then you can easily come to my page anytime and watch any of the previous recordings. Above this recording is links to my podcast. Right after my week is finished, I take all those, I make them into audio form, and then I post them on my website under my blog. It's called Soul Food. Huh? You like my name for my blog? Soul Food. So you can go there, and you can listen to my podcasts of the previous week, which for some people with their busyness is a really nice plus. So I encourage you in either way to try those different sources of staying connected. So welcome, Margaret Green. Aloha. Thank you for joining. Today in this series, we will be focusing on gratitude for creator, gratitude for all aspects of the beings of light that serve in the heavenly realms, gratitude for all those that have led us to these sources. Tomorrow, Tuesday, I will be focusing on gratitude for our beloved Mother Earth and all of those on Earth that have served us. Gratitude on Wednesday, I will be focusing on gratitude for our family and our relationships. And on 
Thursday, the last day in my teaching week, I will be focusing on gratitude to self, okay? So this is a series on gratitude. So we're gonna have fun with this. We're going to do uh, practices. I will do some divine flows. I will do a flow in a little while and ask heaven to speak through, uh, to borrow my mouth, so to speak, and, and offer us some additional wisdom on the value of gratitude for, in this case, heaven and the beings of light. See if we can get some additional insights there, okay? <clears throat> so that's what you can look forward to over these next four days. Um, also, I will probably have to ask one of the other uh, divine channels to, uh, to give me a crown chakra blessing. <laughs> I'll be offering a crown chakra blessing to, to increase your gratitude for any one of these four areas. If you have, for example, problems with gratitude for the family members or problems with gratitude for a relationship you're in, okay? Crown chakra blessings can be offered for that. I actually need greater gratitude for my alignment with heaven and mother earth. So I'll probably have to ask one of my <laughs> one of my peers to give me one of those. Yeah. I could do it for myself, but it just doesn't seem right. Uh -huh. So welcome Angie Kenny, welcome Candy Cornett, welcome also to Wanda. So let me go ahead and start off by offering a little bit of wisdom and teaching on it, and then I'm going to do a flow. <clears throat> Gratitude is one of what is called the 10 greatest qualities. Now in this book, Soul Over Matter, uh, my teacher, Master Shah, this is Master Shah in the back, the Asian gentleman over here, sorry, the Asian gentleman. Um, when he wrote this book, there were seven da's, da means greatest, seven greatest qualities. They were in, included to, to reach an even 10. Just so that you're aware of what they are, the 10 greatest qualities are the greatest love, the greatest forgiveness, the greatest compassion, the greatest light, the greatest humility, something I need more of as well, the greatest um, harmony, the greatest flourishing, the greatest gratitude, which is the eighth of the ten das, the greatest uh, service, and the final of the ten das, the ten greatest qualities, is greatest enlightenment. Each of these ten qualities, I could teach on them for a month each because when we employ each one of these 10 qualities and we actualize the greatest love in our life or actualize the greatest gratitude in our life and we actualize the greatest service in our life and so forth any of these qualities the greatest humility whatever it might be when we actually bring this quality into our life in every aspect of our life then there is an imp and literally it is an impossibility for things not to improve it's just not possible. So we are going to be focusing on greatest gratitude today. Greatest gratitude in Mandarin Chinese is Da Gan Un. One of the gentlemen Johnny is watching. It's his favorite thing to say when we chat. Da Gan Un, Master Paul. And so Da Gan Un means the greatest gratitude. <clears throat> One of the secrets, very simple secret. I taught a simple version of this just last week. I talked about the three secrets. Uh, um, Imi, Komi, uh, let's see, Army, Imi, Komi. And uh, Komi was mouth secret, and Yimi was thinking secret. What is mouth secret? Mouth secret is what you chant, is what you become. So if all you did for this week as a testing pulpit with which to find out if this really makes a difference, if all you did this week was to chant the words, greatest gratitude or da gan un and that's all you did dear da gan un the greatest gratitude as i chant you all week could you please bring me to see with your eyes gratitude in everything in life and that's all you did the whole week you by the end of the week would be a different soul why several reasons one is what you chant is what you become this is a very deep secret what you chant is what you become. So if, for example, you chanted greatest gratitude, greatest gratitude, greatest gratitude, dagana, you literally become the version of greatest gratitude. You, you radiate, you walk the talk, you become uh, what you are chanting. It's no different than if you chanted um, 
divine love, divine love. You eventually become much, much more loving. These words carry frequencies. You have uh, seen before you ever came to see me uh, and have heard that words carry power, words carry frequency. We know by Dr. Emoto that words carry extraordinary ability to transform uh, the water crystals, which we are made up of at least 70%. All life is made up of of the things that water are made up of. And so if words can transform the DNA and structure of water, obviously can transform us. So when we say greatest gratitude, I am greatest gratitude, and we just keep whispering that silently in our head, you literally become that which you chant. So it's just a very simple secret, but if I put the emphasis on it, all of a sudden you have that one little tidbit that can carry you through the week. Welcome, Jess Christensen. Welcome also to any other souls, if I have not mentioned your name. Uh, welcome, Linda. Welcome, Susan. Welcome, Kate Nicole. And welcome, Megan Barma. <clears throat> the greatest gratitude is very often hard to keep in our um, the forefront of our mind and in the forefront of our thoughts, words, and actions. And it's not because we don't necessarily see the value of it. It's not because we're not grateful. It's typically because we're a bit too much here and not enough here. And so the great masters in life, and I'm talking about our beloved Jesus, uh, the Dalai Lama, Buddha, all of these great beings, my teacher, Master Shah, I do categorize him as one of the great beings alive on earth today. And they all speak the same wisdom. Connect to your heart. Clear all the blockages. Do everything from your heart. Easy to say? <laughs> Not so easy to do. It's been my entire life, and it will continue to be my entire life to move from here to here. And so it can be done by uh, a concerted effort, which is why when I... Uh, decided on what to do. I didn't decide when heaven guided me what to do this week. They said, focus this whole week on gratitude, not just one uh, class, this whole week. So we're going to have lots of opportunity to transform this area of our life. Now, what I'd like to do is hear from each of you where your gratitude blockages are specific, since we're talking today about creator, creator, the beings of light, heaven. It could be a trust variable, okay? It could be a religious issue. Uh, it could be um, time, okay? It could be a health issue that you're having that is keeping you from believing that there's a God, okay? What is your greatest blockage in relationship to your creator and the beings of light, heaven, uh, angels, belief, lack thereof? Let's hear from you. Why, what is it, your blockage areas? Because we're gonna use some of them uh, in a generalized sense, because even though one of you might say, well, I have a blockage because, you know, I've had this health issue and I talk to God every night and it doesn't seem to be working. That's an example, right? You're not alone. <laughs> Definitely not alone. There will probably be at least three or four other people that have the similar thought that didn't speak it. So as I read the posts, we'll use those for everybody. I, uh, myself, <clears throat> had a great deal of difficulty believing that um, everything is recorded, you know, that heaven is always watching, that heaven knows everything. You know, it felt very invasive, and I really didn't want to deal with that, what I've come to, to understand as a truth. It, uh, it just didn't feel very um, enjoyable to have that um, thought or that teaching come into my world because that meant I had to be huh, responsible, and that required me to grow. So that's called purification. That's called being on your spiritual journey. But uh, just as with each and every one of us, we have to take responsibility for our thoughts, our words, and our actions. Now, there, I know there are several that are watching that have been um, very manipulated and taken advantage of in this lifetime, <clears throat> very hurt. Um, and so they have a great deal of animosity, anger, uh, you could say hatred towards those that, quote, did this to me. Um, so how do you find gratitude to a creator that allows those things to happen, right? 
And so this is part and parcel of what we're going to be talking about today. How do we move to a place of gratitude when we've been dumped on, hurt, you know, whatever it might be? Uh, I know for myself, and I'm guessing for each one of you, at least one time in your life, I know I've been multiple times in my life, have yelled, just cursed, yelled at my creator. Um, not proud of it, but I recognize uh, that I have done that. There's always room to do forgiveness moving towards that. So I'm waiting for some responses here. Uh, Elizabeth Hall says grief. Okay, so that keeps her from connecting with creator. Uh, Julia Lawrence says abandonment issue is showing up for me to heal. Larawita says to Master Paul, feels like she has a blockage to connect with her heavens team. Okay. Welcome, Aspasia. Um, Aspasia says uh, one of the blockages is deception. Okay. And so um, Angie, Angie talks about religion. Robin talks about a health, health grief. Linda talks about a health issue. Okay, so I will connect to each of those. Uh, Katie Nada, her greatest blockage at this moment is balance. The fact that the divine contains both light and dark, since all is divine, therefore, uh, being able to keep balance within a world of darkness in the struggle, I move to the space of gratitude only after I notice my emotions boiling up, and then it's time to sing love, peace, and harmony. Uh, Raul says, I need to be more grateful for what I already have achieved instead of focusing on what's left to do. Welcome, Archana. Welcome, Andrea. Uh, Andy also talks about a trust issue. And um, Becky says, hers is the why question. Why would I choose this? Okay, Lisa talks about condition of depression. Uh, rejection is another one that comes up. Torture, says Wanda. Um, Oddly, uh, what looks like a blockage is work. She keeps trying to semi-retire so that she can go to more service-oriented vocations, and circumstances always prevent that from happening. Okay, so we've got quite a bit to work with here. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to offer a divine flow, and I'm going to ask uh, for information to, to assist us with how we can work with all of these things that have been mentioned from the divine's perspective, how we can move to a place of gratitude, all right? For everybody new, this is what's called a soul reading or a, a flow, and it's basically just connecting to the soul world and uh, speaking out the information. So give me a moment. Mm -hmm. How? This is the soul of Dagon Un, <clears throat> the greatest gratitude. I am more than a concept. I am more than a virtue. I am more than a quality. I am more than a thought or a word or an action. I am an essence. What am I an essence of? I am an essence of your original soul. I am an essence of your creator. My essence, no different than the wind, touches upon everything with equanimity. I touch upon the still building with the same grace that I touch upon the trash in the landfill. I touch upon the baby's face the same as the beggar. I share 
my essence with all as my creator does. With each touch, I remind all souls of my creator's presence. Ponder for a moment that I am the wind. Do you have gratitude when the wind touches your face? Do you have gratitude when the wind wafts over to your nose the smell of the barbecue or the smell of something not so pleasant? Do you have a gratitude when the wind fans the fire at the campfire or when it makes the waves of the ocean come to your shores. This is one service of the wind. I touch every shore as well, but am not impeded by those things that are solid because I am the essence of creator therefore I am in all creation I have listened to the comments of all the areas that there is suffering and it has been asked for comments, for perspective of how these sufferings can be viewed through the eyes of the Divine's graciousness. The first thing I wish all to see is that Divine has many essences, including the essence of compassion compassion is my brother and sister she is there beside you in your suffering I am there as the yang to the yin in that moment to assist each of you to recognize that you are but a thought away from returning to your Creator's love. The compassion, my brother, is lifting you up towards Creator's heart when you're in that place of suffering. I offer you the reminder that the gratitude of your creator for your being the experiencer of that moment for being the one to recognize the opportunity to no longer cause that same suffering upon any soul anywhere It has been taught by this one speaking on my behalf that there is karma. I like to use the word balance. Those who are depressed have caused depression, therefore there is balance. My service as the essence of gratitude is to remind you as my sister, compassion supports you that this has been brought upon others. And the gratitude is that you have had been given the opportunity to awaken. 
that you are, are being given the opportunity to release permanently this suffering. And it is the state of gratitude for this awakening and awareness. It is the state of gratitude for your creator's fairness that will cause the shift that you so desire. The same is for those who suffer pain, those who suffer torture, those who suffer relationship, loss, and more. Gratitude is the recognition that all of the essences of your Creator are fully present at all times to uplift you, to release that which is no longer serving you through the power of forgiveness and realignment to your source creator, those things that are not serving you can be released. Many fail to grasp this explanation. They return to their struggle because they don't trust their creator they don't see feel touch hear smell their creator therefore they go backwards gratitude my essence keeps your presence and your senses aligned to your creator and keeps you out of the lower density vibrations that tend to hold those who are suffering in that place. Therefore, the one that stays in gratitude rarely experiences any of the sufferings that have been mentioned here today. It has to do with not seeing life through the three bodies and the five senses, but rather aligning your three bodies and your higher senses to your Creator. That is the nature of my essence. That is the power and significance of my service. It has been my honor to share with you this wisdom at this time. Call upon me and chant my name always, and I will serve you in all ways. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you. The soul of Dagon in. Ha. Okay, so comments on that uh, that information. Did it touch anyone's heart? Did it make sense? Hopefully it didn't confuse you more. Um, I thought it was, it was like a nursery in rhyme. I don't know, it was like it kind of uh, ebbed in and out and offered a different perspective um, and then came back around so thank you, the soul of Dagon N. So now we're going to move into some gratitude uh, practices. <clears throat> show of hands, show of uh, happy faces, hearts, sad faces, whatever. Who has um, yelled at God, blamed God, felt that uh, God left them, didn't love them, etc.? I know I did. Who else has done something like that? <clears throat> yeah. Starting to see some, some responses here. Quite a few people. Um, my experience, and I'm sure your experience has been that 
Although we know it's probably not true, uh, it still helps us in many ways to just off gas, if you will, you know, just decompress a bit. I know that when I'm raising my fists and yelling uh, in the past, I don't do it anymore. Um, it is kind of like a, like a decompression. And even afterwards, all you know, I'm sorry, God. Um, but here's the thing. Our beloved uh, creator gave everyone the greatest gift of all, the ability to experience all that creation is with free will. And it is the free will that brings us the yin-yang world that we find ourselves in. <clears throat> those that are suffering, this list, those that are suffering, we have all at some point in time with our elements here have probably said, you know, why? Why me, God? You know, what did I ever do wrong to anybody? I've been great this life. I've done nothing that I can think of that would cause this form of suffering to come to me. Um, when we stay in a place of gratitude to our Creator, to all those that are serving us, you know, the average person has at least 10 souls on their heavens team. At least 10. And the information I've received is that the, those souls on your heavens team can can uh, leave and then new souls come in. But we have guides, we have angels, we have saints, we have beings of light that are around us at all times when we're in this three-dimensional experience. So that's just the ones that are that are you know assigned to us. That doesn't include the ones that we communicate with, connect with. Jesus, Mother Mary, Archangel Michael, Buddha, you know, Kuan Yin. We all have our, our favorite that we connect with. And they come instantly. Um, you know, they have subdivided souls. There are so many ways that our Creator supports us. And I know for me, I am probably out of alignment with my acknowledgement of that, I would say about 80% of the time. I'm being completely honest. So that means that 20% of the time, I'm in a grateful place, being present in my thought, my breath, my food, what I'm eating, what I'm watching, what I'm doing. I'm being conscious and present of Creator and the, 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 the gratitude. Um, 80% of the time, no. Why? Up here, not here. Now, maybe your numbers are better than mine. I, I pray and hope they are. But that means there's a lot of room to grow. That means there's a, a lot of movement that needs to be made. In my teacher's uh, organization, there is what's called upliftment that occurs. Upliftment is when um, a, a master teacher is given higher levels of authority and accordingly higher levels of power to serve. These uh, these authorities are not <laughs> little things. They are extraordinarily high uh, uh, abilities. And I have witnessed students who came in five years after I came in being uplifted substantially higher than, than I. And I didn't really have any ego about it. I witnessed it and I said, you know what, they deserved it. You know why they deserved it? Gratitude. I tell you, I witnessed their gratitude. These souls, they at night or whenever they're, they're always like this. Thank you, thank you, thank you. They have, um, they have their altars. They are on the ground many more hours than I am. Mine's just excuses. Oh, I got to do this, got to do that. What's my point? Gratitude is acknowledged and seen by heaven. How does my teacher know? How does he know? He has no time to talk to the, to the 400 uh, master teachers that are in training, of which about 140 have reached the, state, the status that I'm at. He has, he has no idea what any of us are doing. He's far too busy going around the world saving lives. And yet when we come to an event once or twice a year, 
who is to be elevated, heaven? Maybe four or five people out of you know 300 in the audience get elevated. And those are the exact and right people. I've witnessed that they're the exact and right people. How do they know? Heaven keeps a record of everything. It does not matter how angry you are about your condition. It does not matter how upset you are about how life has downtrodden you. It does not matter that your son or your daughter or your husband or your wife or your dog has decided on their soul journey to return. The pain is because of our e ego-based understanding of how everything works. We have to recognize that we don't have the full comprehension. Our creator is the essence of love, light, forgiveness, compassion. Our creator is the essence of gratitude, humility, harmony. Our creator is the essence of light, service, and enlightenment. All of these essences are our creator. How can we, as someone who lost our child, as someone who lost our husband or our dog, shake our fist at the creator and say, why do you do this? I don't love you anymore. How can you possibly take this beautiful soul from me? Our limited understandings based on our three bodies, physical, emotional, mental body, and our, um, our uh, five senses do not allow us to comprehend the great and pure nature of our creator. Therefore, we do not stay in a place of gratitude. That's why I find myself in the 80 percentile. I'm guessing your story is not much different. We must move ourselves from what we think is true to what is true to be in a place of gratitude for our Creator. How do we do that? We do that by opening our heart. Our heart gets closed when things happen to us or things happen to those that we love or our health issues occur or depression comes to us. Why do you think this whole year of teaching, I've always talked about forgiveness, what's it do? It opens the heart. When the heart is open, can we be more grateful to our Creator? Yes. Everything that we do, open the spiritual channel. Do you think that's so you can see heaven? No, that's not why we open our spiritual channels. We open our spiritual channels so that we can return to that which we came from. Be the 100 percentile instead of the 20 percentile. Everything on the spiritual journey is to remind you of the 100% you came from. All of, our, all of our, our perceptions are very, very far off. Very, very far off. Okay? So we're going to do a practice to return to a place of gratitude. We're going to open our heart at the same time. And we're going to ask forgiveness for all the times we have been uh, in a place uh, other than that. So let's do this together. All right? Let's start by placing our hands in soul light, soul service, hand position, hand mudra. Dropping our left hand in front of our heart center, right hand gently pointed towards heaven. Let us close our eyes and be fully present. I will close my eyes also. Normally I keep them open, but I want to be just as present. For those that are, uh, <clears throat> for if it is comfortable for you, I invite you to repeat after me. Dear my beloved creator, you can name the Creator whatever you want. God, Allah, Source, Tao, doesn't matter. Dear my beloved Creator, my name is Paul Fletcher, Paul Fletcher, Paul Fletcher. I love you. I love you. I really, 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 really love you. I wish to sincerely apologize not only for this lifetime, but all time, if I have ever went against you, said unpleasant things to you or about you, this and all time I have ever spoken in spite, in hatefulness, in blame, and said it was all your fault. 
I know that you know I was in great suffering. I know your heart of compassion, but it doesn't make it okay that I treated you with such disrespect. For I now recognize that this has created separation between us. I most humbly and sincerely ask your forgiveness, my beloved Creator. I have not had even remotely enough gratitude for all that you have done for me, not only in this lifetime, but in all lifetimes. Please forgive me for blaming you for the way my life has turned out, for especially the areas I am not happy with. Please forgive me for not connecting with you throughout the day in a much more grateful manner. Please forgive me, my beloved Creator, for not trusting you because I could not see you, feel you, taste you, touch you, or confirm that you are truly there. Please forgive me, my beloved Creator, for not doing enough on my spiritual awakening journey that I could feel you, see you, touch you know the truth of your existence for you have given us many teachers that I could clear my blockages and truly know of your presence but I have not please forgive me for my failure to put my spiritual journey first I sincerely apologize for my inability to know your constant love, compassion, and acceptance of me and all that I do. I ask all of the beings of light in the heavenly realms, all the saints that have moved from Mother Earth into the heavenly realms, all the saints on Earth, I wish to ask forgiveness to all the beings of light who have served all souls, including my journey. I know it is possible in this or previous lifetimes that I have went against God, that I have went against valuable and beneficial spiritual teachings. Maybe I have accidentally or on purpose killed one of you light beings and stopped your ability to reach enlightenment in a certain lifetime. I wish in each and every case to all beings to ask your forgiveness if I have inhibited in any way the growth of your soul journey I recognize that by keeping others from finding their path, that I might be being inhibited in my karma from finding the light and being in a place of gratitude. I sincerely, sincerely apologize.
dear the soul of the thoughts, the words, and the actions of a lack of gratitude. All of those in this lifetime and all lifetimes that I have not shown my gratitude towards. I ask your forgiveness. I also offer you my unconditional forgiveness if ever you have not shown me gratitude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And now we will do a practice. Keep your eyes closed. Continue to repeat. Dear the soul of Da Gan Un, the greatest gratitude. The Da Gan Un special calligraphies. The countless blessings transmitted to those special calligraphies. I love you. As I chant Da Gan Un and greatest gratitude, could you please bless me to clear my Shen Qi and Jing blockages so that I can move forward in life being more and more grateful for my beloved Creator, for all of the beings of light and my heavens teams, for all that they do for me. I'm very, very grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So with your eyes closed, I want you to offer from your heart the greatest gratitude. Sending your greatest love and gratitude to your Creator, to all of the beings of light that have been serving your soul journey since you were created. <clears throat> Let us send them our greatest gratitude. Doggone un, doggone un, doggone un, doggone un. Greatest gratitude, greatest gratitude. Greatest gratitude, greatest gratitude. Da gan un, da gan un, da gan un, da gan un. Da gan un, da gan un, da gan un, da gan un. Please forgive me, my lack of gratitude please forgive me my lack of gratitude please forgive me my lack of gratitude please forgive me my lack of gratitude. Da gan un, da gan un, da gan un, da gan un. Da gan un, da gan un, da gan un, da gan un. Silently in your heart, have a conversation with your beloved Creator. 
connect to the love of your creator connect to the purity of your creator your beloved creator is always there for you 100 percent reconnect be grateful open your heart open your heart open your heart Release the pain. Release the pain. Release the pain. Release the blame. Release the blame. Release the blame. Open your heart. Release the blame. Open your heart. Release the blame. Dagana, greatest gratitude. Dagana. Greatest gratitude, Dagana. Greatest gratitude, Dagana. Greatest gratitude. I invite you to, in your heart, bow your head to the ground, to your beloved Creator, to all of the beings that you have ever asked support from, and all of the beings of light that you are not familiar with, that have come to serve you, to all of your Heaven's teams, guides, angels, and saints, I invite you to bow your head in gratitude to all that they have ever done for you, known or unknown. For they have never, not even once, brought anything to you that would not serve you in the highest and best way. Because that is the nature of the light side. Make a promise to them that you will do more each and every day to align your heart and soul to gratitude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ha, ha, ha. So when you're ready, please return. And I'm looking forward to reading your sharing on the value of this practice for you. Any aha moments, anything you might have experienced. I felt like whirlpools of frequency and uh, blessings coming through my crown chakra. <clears throat> I am pretty confident that the same thing was happening for each of you, whether you felt it or not. The degree of blessings we receive from heaven is always in direct correlation to our degree of uh, purity in our request, purity in our connection. Please forgive me, God. I'm not going to get you much. But when you do anything authentically, you can get a million times more forgiveness. And it's the same thing when we connect with this practice. The more pure the connection, the greater the potential value. Today's teaching was on gratitude for, <clears throat> please share, I'm waiting for some of your sharing, uh, was on gratitude for alignment uh, to our Creator, gratitude for our Creator Self and all of the beings who have supported us in the journey regardless of our inability to know of their presence. I hope that it brought value to you. This is just the tip of the iceberg. I invite you to remember what 
the information was that came through the flow from the soul of greatest gratitude that said that um, when we stay in this place, we are literally elevated in a higher frequency. When we stay in this higher frequency place, it is virtually impossible to have any of the experiences that, that those who are suffering may be having. So let us do our part to stay in this place one step at a time. The easiest, honestly, the easiest place to start with is gratitude for creator and the beings of light. Might not be so easy as we move into some of the other areas like the relationships and, and gratitude towards self. But let us work with the areas that we know it's easier to stay in gratitude with. Tomorrow, I'm going to be focusing on gratitude with Mother Earth and all of those on Earth that serve us. <clears throat> so Sharon uh, shares. She had one hand on her heart and one hand in the air and felt the energy from above pulsating through her hand and absorbing into her heart and soul. Beautiful. Yeah, definitely. And Becky says, powerful first time in prayer. Um, she was emotional. Wanda says, my pain is gone and I know I need to be more grateful in this life. Wonderful awareness, Wanda. Great. Candy says, thank you, thank you, thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Kate and Nicole. Well, that was a big release of sadness. <laughs> uh, Angie says, thank you. Aloha, Jennifer. <clears throat> Elizabeth Hall, thank you for the release of negativity and to be filled with gratitude and love. Lisa says, N huge release as well. A lot of gratitudes. Good. So... I hope that this served you well. Uh, over the next few days, we're going to spend a little more time on the gratitude part. Uh, to re-mention to you throughout this week, there will be available uh, blessings to release blockages for gratitude. If you find yourself where you're in it and it doesn't matter what you do, you just can't find a way to be grateful about this X situation or this X person or whatever it is, um, you know, check in with me receive a blessing, they're very reasonable. Um, it could dramatically uh, shift what's holding you back from moving forward. If it's a relationship issue, sometimes it keeps you from having uh, joy and happiness in other areas in your world. If it's a uh, lack of gratitude for your function, your job, uh, it could create a, a very positive shift for you. Uh, if it's lack of gratitude for your creator because a uh, soul was lost and you just can't seem to find it. Um, these are very very rooted in negative memories and these can be released through the special blessings that I'm able to offer so remember uh, me remember the services that can be offered to you um, you can connect with me through Facebook through Facebook Messenger uh, my, my website which is listed above and of course you can text me um, so I look forward to serving you more tomorrow as we do go into work into gratitude for uh, Mother Earth and all of her souls that serve us so thank you, thank you, thank you. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you all of you for coming and joining. Uh, Jennifer, please come back and watch us from the beginning. You're welcome to go to my website and learn more and connect with me for private consultation if that's important, okay? Um, so love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Gong song, gong song, song song. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, everybody.